The Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society announced three recently discovered shipwrecks near the area of Grand Marais in Lake Superior. Local 3's Tor Thorne shows us how the discoveries were made and why more confirmed wrecks could be coming soon. These three shipwrecks that we found, this is pretty exciting and it, it helps us to kind of bring this story not only the stories of the shipwrecks, but what we do as an organization to the forefront for people that are visiting the museum. Until recently, the Dot, the Michigan, and the Frank Wheeler had been lost to Lake Superior. We, we don't normally find a shipwreck every single time we go out. Um, we've gone year, we've got a couple of years without finding, you know, a wreck. This year was astonishing because there were some times that each time we went out, we were finding a new wreck. Tracking down their hidden hulls isn't easy using historical documents because not everybody's really paying exactly attention to where they might be at that moment when their ship is sinking underneath them. Uh, but often you can get a general idea and we can search in that area, narrow it down a little bit. Um, and we did a lot of searching along some of the old shipping lanes this year that were heading out to places like Marquette, Duluth, uh, Two Harbors, you know, Thunder Bay. Using special sonar technology, the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society is able to see hundreds of feet below the water surface. So what it allows us to do is really kind of um, paint, so to speak, the bottom of the lake and to see if there's anything down there that might be casting a shadow. Um, we have different frequencies we can use. It's like sound pulses that are, um, you know, spreading out across the bottom of the lake. And if something casts a shadow, uh, we know that we, we might be seeing you know, a target down there or, or some kind of anomaly that we would want to further research and send an ROV down. With an estimated 6,000 shipwrecks across the Great Lakes, knowing just how many are out there isn't an exact science. You know, theoretically, there are 6,000 shipwrecks on the Great Lakes. Um, I've seen a number of different uh, statistics that might indicate how many shipwrecks are in Lake Superior. But the, the, the tough thing about that is there will be, depending on what's happening with the lake levels, what's happening with, uh, you know, weather conditions in general, uh, you know, ice in the spring, things like that, we might see things that are uncovered that nobody has any idea of what they are. Each confirmed shipwreck is a way to keep those who are lost from being forgotten. If it is roughly 6,000 shipwrecks in the Great Lakes, uh, most people have never heard of the vast majority of those wrecks. And if you think about some of these wrecks where you have, you know, 20, 30 people perish on board, um, you know, they're really, that crew is every bit as important as, say, the 29 crew members that went down on the Fitzgerald or the 29 that went down on the Daniel J. Morrell. So it's keeping those memories alive, better understanding the history, and just being able to share those stories with the general public. In Grand Marais, Torthorne, Local 3 News.